What you see is a day in the life of those five singers, which starts at 8 a.m. with getting up and brushing teeth and stuff like this, and ends at 8 uh, in the evening with the start of the uh, concert performance. So we see a lot of um, things they do in the everyday life, but at the same time also what we see is them being in empty leisure locations. So um, for us the question was where does the actual spectacle begin, where does the performance begin? Is it already a performance when they get together and rehearse or is it a performance when they sing an opera aria from the French Baroque in an empty leisure location? And, uh, or is the actual spectacle the moment when they enter stage? So we try to uh, blur this, this very strict division between performance and private life. So in the moment we're on the video, the, the concert would start, our piece is over. The music was added, which consists basically of the doubling of the sounds of the film, in a way, but of course in a polyphonic way. So singing, the actual concert performance, is nothing else but the doubling of their everyday life, in a way. I in general believe that there is two ways of performances or two different kinds of performances in theatre, in cinema, wherever, in concert. And the one would be the one that comes to the audience and wants to convince and overwhelm. And the other one would be, and I think ours is a bit closer to the second category, where there is something on stage and the audience has to work hard to get to it and to make their own decisions. Because we have five screens, two text projections, five singers, there is a lot of video, there is a lot of uh, sound and also we try to blur. Sometimes you don't know this sound, was it done live by the singer or is it part of the film? So we, we put the audience in a constant um, situation of too much information so they have to uh, make their decision and choose what am I focusing on. Well, the first idea of, of um, music in this music theater piece was to have singers that would double sounds, which are sounds which occur normally when you are in a normal space, like in a kitchen or in a bathroom or in a car or something. So, sounds that occur when a cup drops on a on a table or the sound of a car. And we wanted to uh, we recorded these sounds together with film, and the idea was to find. Um, sounds made by voice which would um, occur to be the same and they would double it on the same time. Sometimes it becomes a canon then, so um, that was the basic idea of, of the starting process, how we combine the film soundtrack and the vocal sounds. So therefore we have different, different kinds of, um, of musical um, sound worlds, I would say. So there's like this normal singing, everybody knows, this bel canto singing, we also use Baroque areas in there, so they have this way of thi Baroque singing, which they can do very well as well. And then we have um, more special techniques, like sounds which occur like 
stuff like that. And um, these sounds are not like just sounds I imagine, but they all come from normal sounds from the, from the film.